strength, speed, agility, quickness, and really just uh, fortitude. Just, you know, nothing can stop you. Back in the mid-70s, Browner ran roughshod over offensive linemen from coast to coast. And he was one of the first impact freshmen in college football history back in 1973 for Notre Dame. Browner and Bradley, third and five for SC. Hagan in trouble, in the end zone, gets it away. And let's see if that's grounding of the ball. Russ Browner. By the time he was done at Notre Dame, he not only won the Outland Trophy in 1976, he also won the Maxwell Trophy, the Lombardi Trophy was a two-time unanimous All-American, and he finished fifth in the Heisman Trophy voting in 1977. But Browner's lasting memory? The teams that I played for, you know, the players that I played with, and, uh, and our fortitude and our persistence of just being a great team. One of the guys he played with was Rudy Rudiger. Yes, the guy that this movie was made about. In fact, Browner took himself out of the actual game so Rudy could have his shining moment. It's a wonderful moment. I'm Russ Browner, and I'd like for you to meet some of my friends when we get together on Saturday afternoons and have a little bit of fun. Browner loves football. He helped Notre Dame win two national championships in his time in South Bend. He played 10 years in the NFL, mostly with the Bengals, but he'll be forever known as one of the greatest college football players in history and an Outland Trophy Award winner. The Outland uh, Trophy Award is, means so much to me and meant so much to my school and my family because, you know, here I am, a small town boy, and just dreaming of just playing one day in college and playing one day into the pros. And, and to be able to win such a prestigious award as the Outland was just a tremendous honor for my family and myself and, and my school.